My name is Nicole Hernandez and I'm a PGY4 resident in the Oral Maxillofacial Surgery Program here at Un University of Texas uh, Health Science Center in San Antonio. Uh, as an OMFS resident, you go through a lot of training to finally uh, end up as an OMFS resident. The training path involves finishing four years of a bachelor's degree of whatever choice you'd like and then applying to dental school, uh, fulfilling four years of dental school and obtaining your DDS or DMD degree. And then after that, you can apply to either a four-year or six-year track uh, with a six-year track including a, a combined MD certificate program, which involves you going back to medical school for uh, the, the portion of the residency. The residency um, entails doing res uh, rotations on medical rotations as well as surgical rotations, ICU rotations, as well as general surgery and anesthesia. It's a great opportunity to meet a lot of people in uh, places, different places in medicine, different aspects. You interact a lot with nurses, surgical staff, and medical residents, and it's a great career choice. All right, what is a typical day for you? Kind of usually starts at what time and is at what time? Typical day would start probably around 5.30 to pre-ground on your patients. Usually our census is anywhere from five to 15 to 20 patients that we have in the hospital and we split up our days by clinic and operating room time. Uh, we operate three times a week at this institution, other places is very similar, as well as uh, having outpatient clinic time where we do outpatient dental extractions and uh, uh, oral surgery procedures. Okay, and what is the advantage of having getting your MD as well as your DDS? Well, the, uh, the advantage in my opinion is that you never know how things are changing in medicine these days especially and it would be very unfortunate to go through all this training and all this work and dedication to then at the end of the day have um, people uh, question your credentials and having hospital privileges and surgical privileges and big institutions. So um, I think it provides a really good foundation and background. It really balances out your knowledge that you acquired in dental school and just makes you a well-rounded uh, surgeon. Okay, and once you're done with your residency, what kind of fellowship options uh, do you, can you choose from? So there's about four to five typical uh, fellowship options, some including cosmetic, full body cosmetics or just facial cosmetics. Uh, temporal mandibular joint reconstruction, there's also um, craniofacial fellowships which are very popular um, uh, and a couple of others. Okay, and I know it varies by your location and your specialty, but how much can one typically make well, outside of your uh, residency and all your training? So typically residents starting off first year can make anywhere average salary from two fifty dollars to two eighty-five thousand dollars a year um, with many sur oral surgeons acquiring grossing up to about 500, a little over 500,000, maybe five years out, um, and reaching up to uh, e possibly even a million dollars a year um, okay. once you get set. And wh what type of surgeries do you normally do as a OFMS? Um, our typical surgeries is pretty broad scope, but dental implants, uh, dental alveolar reconstruction, bone grafting, um, uh, dental facial deformities to include orthognathic surgery, jaw surgery, trauma surgery, cosmetic surgery, um, so a lot. Okay. And what advice would you have to someone who maybe is interested in this field or just advice in general? Advice would be go shadow an OMFS resident, um, see if you really like it. It's a long road and uh, you really have to be passionate and really want to do OMFS to uh, be successful and really uh, like your career. So if you know what you're getting yourself into and you, and it's for you and you have the passion for it, then go for it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome.